That means you gotta either dig deep and find a way to break it, or you gotta just flat out and tap out. You know, there is such a thing as playing to the crowd a little too much, and that's exactly what I'm seeing here. Wow, look at that confidence. He's letting his opponent know who the boss is. He better watch out, though. His cockiness can backfire in a major way. I got it. He likes fighting dirty. And it's easy. Come on, Raph. Bring the damn bell. You can't let him get away with that. Hey, they know you play the game, Paul. It's what you win or lose. Like this, you're gonna be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as how much more abuse can a human being take? If this match doesn't end soon, I think we might have a serious injury on our hands. He can talk all he wants, Cole, but once he's lost the match, this guy's gonna wish that he spent more time going after his opponent. I think you're wrong about that, Taz. I think this is going to make his victory tonight that much sweeter. You know, I don't think you can keep going for much longer after taking that much punishment. I'm telling you, Umaga has not been around here for long, but let's face it, he's racked up some impressive victories since he showed up. You're not wrong, Part. He could pin his opponent right here. I think he's trying to make fun of his opponent. You know, there's no doubt that the Undertaker... Uh-oh, here it comes! The Samoan Spike! And that move can crush your windpipe and leave you completely incapacitated. He's showing absolutely no respect for his opponent. Yeah, and his opponent's not doing nothing about it. What's that tell you? Benoit's a great technical wrestler, no doubt about it, I'm telling you. But after taking all the abuse he's taken in his career, I don't know if he's got the taste to win here tonight. The smart money never bets against Chris Benoit, Taz. Wow, now that one's not in the rule book. But you know what they say, it's not a crime if you don't get caught. I don't believe it. How could the referee have missed that? I never stop being impressed by Kurt Angle a multi-time WWE Champion, an Olympic gold medalist, an Intercontinental United States and WCW Champion. I know, Taz, we've heard it all before. Angle never hesitates to remind us at any opportunity. For a guy who's accomplished as much as he has, Angle seems awfully worried that people are going to forget about his achievements. Angle ain't afraid of nothing, Cole. If I had that resume, I'd talk about it every chance I got to. Superstar make the kind of impact that Umaga has ever since coming to the WWE. Oh, he's made some waves for sure. And when you're this large, <laughs> it's not hard to do. Six foot four and 350 pounds. He truly lives up to his nickname, the Samoan Bulldozer. Yeah, and if you get his way, it don't matter how tough you are. You Umaga will flatten you like nothing. Well, it looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move in my opinion. But come on, you just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to recover, neither. You gotta stay on him and wear him down. But what about picking your spot? If you try to execute a badly timed move just because you want to stay on offense, that can have a disastrous result. I'll tell you what, Paul. Let me talk about what it's like to be in a match like this, and you can cover what it's like to whiten your teeth. Deal? I don't think there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary dead man, The Undertaker. Yeah, but you can only stay on top of the mountain for so long, and the dead man's been there for a very, very long time. That might be true, Taz. But I don't see anyone on the horizon who could dethrone the Phenom. I think Benoit might.
might have lost a step or two when he took that little vacation from SmackDown. You know what I'm saying? Submission hold locked in. We may see a tap out right here. And even if you can't make your opponent tap out, this will take a lot of fight out of him. The most frustrating thing in the world is when you want to keep fighting, but you know you ain't got nothing left. such a phenomenal athlete. It's a shame that he feels that he has to bend the rules in order to accomplish his goals. Are you telling me that he cheated to win that Olympic gold medal he won called? Is that what you're telling me? Absolutely not. But if you look at his WWE career, I think you'd find that he has a casual relationship with the rules at best. He smells blood in the water, Cole. He's going straight for the submission. And this could prove to be a decisive moment in this match. Ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing an incredible display of athletic ability here tonight. What do you expect, Cole? These are WWE superstars for crying out loud. They're the greatest athletes in the world. True enough, Taz. There's no off-season for them. There's no month or two off between matches. There sure ain't, Cole. I mean, these guys are here week in and week out, and every night they leave it in the ring. He's going straight for the leg of his opponent. And there it is, Cole. He's got that ankle lock locked in there, and he ain't letting go. He ain't taking any chances with this submission, Cole. Look at how tight he's got it locked in. I see that, Taz. I wouldn't be surprised if he got his opponent to tap out right here. Big train rolling down the line Makes me lonely Sometimes I wish to ride away Sometimes I want to ride away 